Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's video we're going to be checking out Get Site Control. Now Get Site Control is a great suite of apps or widgets that you can use with your website. Now you're not restricted to using this with just a WordPress website, you can use it on pretty much any kind of website you want. What it does give you is a whole range of different apps or widgets that you can use to really enhance your website and get some great user interaction. So what I'm going to do throughout this video is I'm going to give you a demonstration of how some of the different tools or apps work and show you how easy it is to integrate it into your website. So let's just jump over and take a look at some of these apps in action. So before we jump in and take a look at what we can do with these different apps or widgets, I just want to say a big thank you to Get Site Control who sponsored this video. Now I'm not going to give you a comprehensive review and give you my thoughts on it. What I am going to do is give you a demonstration and let you make your own minds up. What I will say though at the top of this video is that I've been using this for the last few weeks and I've got to be honest, it's an incredibly easy way of working with adding these different widgets or apps to your site without the need to go through and just use different plugins or different scripts. It's all done in one location and it's done very easily. So let's just take a look at how we can install this first of all and how we can then start working with the different apps we have available. So I'm at the home page now for Get Site Control and all I'm going to do is log in and then we take a look at what the dashboard looks like. So simply log in, you can see it takes me through to the Get Site Control login option and I've got various different ways I can connect or sign in. So I'll just sign in with my details and what I'm going to do then is show you what we have set up. Now it's a really, really easy interface. You can see we have some information on the widgets that we currently have created, whether they're active or inactive. We've also got a range of different stats down the left hand side. So it'll show us the total number of views in a set period of time and any limitations we may have with the different plan that we're working with. Also, we've got some other stats in the last 30 days, such as subscribers, contact messages, and so on. We also have the option there to create new widgets, go through our site settings. If we have multiple accounts with different websites, we can go through and choose which websites, web widgets we want to work with. Then we also have some options at the top right hand side, the widgets that we have active, chat option, and my account details. So the first thing I want to do is just go into the site settings. Now when we jump into here, you can see we've got options for the name of the site that we're working with, if we want to integrate it with Google Analytics and so on. And one of the things that I really liked about Get Site Control is that you don't have to contact them if you want to change your domain that you're using the different apps or widgets on. So let's just say, for example, I want to test these out on a staging website. I can pop that in there. And then when I'm ready to push this live, I can simply go in, make the change the domain is associated with, and bang, all my options are available to me. So it's really nice and easy that you don't need to get in contact with customers support to make those changes. Next up we've got install and then finally we've got integrations. So what I do is go to the install and you can see what this does is it gives you a little bit of JavaScript code that you can then go through and copy and paste this into your website. So what I'll do is I'll just copy that information. So I'll copy that from there and we'll jump over to the admin section of my website that I want to work with. Now I'm using a theme called Impreza for this particular example but you'll tend to find that with pretty much any theme you can simply go in and add some custom code in there. So what I'm going to do is jump down to the custom code option and you can see that on the right hand side I've got custom HTML which I can also put uh, JavaScript code and so on in. And we've got the information in there so I can simply copy and paste that in there. Now the one thing I found out was that this works best if you put this at the top of any other scripts you're kind of loading as part of your website. So I pop that right at the top. Once I've done that I can simply hit save changes. Then I can jump back into my get control, that's a get site control control panel, and I can simply check the code on there and it'll go through and tell me whether it's registered that code and it's now installed and starting to become available on the website. The final option we have is integrations. And if we click on there, you can see we can now connect get site control up with a whole range of different third-party applications, such as MailChimp, HubSpot, and so on. Again, I'm not going to go over this in this video. It's a little bit complex for what I want to show you, but you can see there are a ton of integrations and some very popular and well-known integrations that you can call upon very easily. So now that we've seen how easy it is to add this to your website and also some of the integrations we have available, let's just jump back over to the control panel and take a look at some of the widgets that I currently have set up. Now you can see that I've got a promo widget and I've also got a chat widget. Now at the moment the promo is active whereas the chat option is disabled. And this is where one of the things I think is really good about using Get Site Control over using multiple different uh, plugins to do this. It really comes in and I'll show you that in a moment. So you can see we've got some basic information. We've got the number of views this particular widget has had, number of hits, the number of clicks, in other words the click-through ratio and a percentage, the number of days this has been active, 
you can see whether it's active or inactive. So we simply, you can see this one is nice and yellow and highlighted and in full color. Whereas the chat widget, which is disabled currently is ghosted out. And again, you can see we've got statistics based on the different sort of widgets and what's going on with that on the website. We can also come in and edit this. We can preview it. We can check out statistics and we can A-B test this. Now, the nice thing with this is the A-B testing is very easy. So we can easily test out various different options for call to actions or promos and so on. And then we can just basically turn off the one that doesn't perform the best. Very quick and easy. We can clone it. So if we want to make multiple copies and just adjust various different sort of pieces of information there, we can clone this and we can go through and we can delete it. So all very simple and straightforward. And if we click on the top left hand side, you can see we've got the ability to activate or deactivate it. So let's take a look at what this particular promo widget looks like on a website. So if I just jump over to my Lightroom website, you can see we've got this right at the top and you can see there's a special offer currently running. Now this will pop out. So if I refresh the page, we'll see that after a period of time, the site will load back in and that will pop back up and show us exactly what this offers for. So it kind of animates in, so it'll give us a nice little sort of prompt to sort of see this. So if we kind of look at the site, you can see we can control this. Now we have full control over the colors and all the different information, the placing and so on. So let's just jump back in and let's edit this particular promo widget. And we can see all the different tools and options that are available. Now it's all done through different tabs. So you can see we can easily go through and just update the appearance, the content, the behavior and the targeting and so on. So you can see we've got a range of different predefined options for the position of this. So we can have it pop up in the middle of the screen, the bottom left, bottom right, so on. We can adjust the colors that are used throughout this, or we can choose a theme that's already been predefined. We can choose the font from a whole range of different fonts. We can also go through and specify what animation comes on. So you can see we've got a range of different animations available. We can see you've got the bar placement. So there's this push down the page, float when scrolling. So again, a range of different options. And also what happens when you use this or view this on a mobile device. So we can tweak and fine tune this and we can get some previews based upon the different devices that we're using. So you can see that on a mobile device, we have this little banner at the bottom, whereas on the desktop, it'll animate in from the top. So now if we jump over to the content tab, you can see we can now go through and specify the different title, the button text and so on, and what kind of happens, the behavior. Now this is where you can really get in and control when this displays and how it displays and so on. So you can see you've got a range of different sort of options in there that allow you to control exactly how this behaves, even down to the point where you can specify it only shows up on certain times, on certain days, and it starts and stops at a particular period, which is great. If you're the kind of person that you have multiple sites or you have multiple things running, you can't always be expected to remember exactly when to turn this off. So you can do things like you can use the start on and stop on dates and so on. It's all pretty self-explanatory. And in all honesty, just checking through it, you'll see exactly how any of these options work. And then finally, we have the targeting option. And this is where you can really come in and fine tune things. You can come in and you can specify what pages this is shown on or what pages is not shown on. So you can, instead of sort of showing it on every single page, you might only want to show it on your home page or a sales page or something. Well, you can control that through this and you can set up various different rules and you can use expressions and so on to do that. We also have the option then to specify what type of visitor will see it. So at the moment, this is set to all visitors, but it can easily enable the visitors who meet certain conditions. Once you do that, you can see we have a range of simple options that allow us to specify what the user needs to be doing or what they need to have to be able to see this message. So you may say that you don't want this to be displayed on mobile devices, for example. Well, you can simply exclude mobile devices. Very easy. You also have the option to include or exclude. So you can, instead of sort of going through the whole process of having to exclude five different options just to show it to one, then you can flip it around. You can do it the quickest and easiest way. Again, really, really easy. If you want to take this even further, then you can tap into the API that is available as part of Get Site Control. So you have a whole range of different options available to fine tune and configure exactly who and what device is required to be seeing the different things that you put on screen. So let's put that back to all visitors and leave that where it is. Okay, so let's just jump back again and take a look at the different widgets. So we've seen what the promo widget looks like. Let's take a look at what the chat widget looks like. And this, like I said a little bit earlier on, is where the beauty of this comes in. Once I activate this, that's now active on the website. That's all I've got to do. So if I jump back to the website and refresh it, we take a look at the bottom right. We now have a chat widget available, all set up and configured ready. I don't have to go and add any more code in there. 
It's literally, as soon as you activate that widget, it is immediately available on your website. And the same goes for deactivating it. Now, this, for me, is one of those things that if you're testing things out and you want to see what something looks like, you can so easily just activate it and deactivate it without the need to jump into your website and start messing about with scripts and code. Or if in, in WordPress, for example, you might have to go in and start editing and sort of switching on and off different plugins. It just makes it so easy. So... That's how easy it is to add it, how to turn them on and off, see the details, statistics, and so on. Now let's take a look at what widgets we have available to start adding to our website. So adding new widgets is very, very easy. We can simply come to create a new widget, click on there, and you can see there's all the different options we have available. We've got subscribe, contact, promo, survey, follow, share, and chat. So let's just say, for example, we want to run a survey. Well, we can simply click on that. That'll bring up the option that allows you to go through now and choose all the different settings, where this appears, the color schemes and so on that are available, all the different things, the targeting and everything that we've seen in the previous one. And now we can go in and we can set up a survey. So again, very easy. So let's just leave all the default options there. We'll leave the color schemes and the positioning and so on. Actually, we'll change that and pop that in the middle. Content, you can see we've got the option to go in and add what questions we want. We can use a linear survey or a skip logic and branching survey. Now, this is something that anyway you see the sort of plus symbol, you have to have a plus account to be able to access those features. The free and the basic options, they don't have as many features, obviously. But you can see we can come in and we can choose the different options for what questions you want to ask, the different answers that are available, any comment placeholder. You can randomize the answer order. You can see you can go in and you can set up a simple or as complex a survey as you want to add in there. So again, very easy. Jump over to the behavior option and you can see all the options are still there. So we can specify the start date, the end date, when and how it's shown. Targeting, again, we've got all those same options. We may want to limit this to only show on the homepage. Well, we can do that if we want to. Integrations, you can see now we can integrate this into other different third-party applications. So we may want to integrate this into MailChimp. So once we connect that up through the site settings, that becomes available, and we can then pass the information over to the relevant third-party integration service. So really cool how easy it is to sort of do that. You can see we can also enable autoresponders, and you can see we can go through, we can put a nice message in there to say thank you very much for filling out your details, etc., etc., etc. Very easy. We can also integrate this with Zapier. So if you use that and you want to integrate this even further or with applications that are not covered as part of Get Site Control, you have that option available. So being able to tie this in with any other sort of services or applications you use is really very straightforward. Once we've done that, we click OK. So we'll say we've gone through and filled all my details out and so on. So we'll OK that. You can see now we've got the option, do we want to activate this or leave it deactivated? Well, let's activate it. And let's just jump over back to the website refresh the page and take a look at that in action. And there we go. There's our survey. Pops up as soon as the page loads. So we've got that. We've got three different widgets installed on this now. And I've had to do nothing other than insert that one simple piece of code right back at the beginning. So I can go through and I can answer my different surveys. I can go through and answer the different questions and so on. And we'll just get rid of that now to get rid of it off the screen. So you can see very easy to deal with. Jump back over to Get Site Control. If I want to make changes to that, I can simply come in and edit that, go in and change anything that I didn't like about it, the color scheme and so on. You can see you also have the option to enable an unobtrusive mobile view. And you also see that we've got little sort of question marks that give us information based upon any of the different options available. So this will pop up and show you exactly what this particular function does. And we can click to close that down. Jump back over and let's just deactivate that. So we click and deactivate. So that's deactivated. Now we can just leave that there if we want to or call it back up at any point in the future and start working with it. So it's really, really easy to start to go through and create different widgets and apply them onto your website. Go through and configure them, style them, make sure that they do everything you want through the different logic options and the conditions you can set up, what pages you want to show it on, how you want it to interact with different devices. It's very, very easy. Okay, so before we wrap this video up, let's just take a look at some of the options we have inside the other widgets that we haven't looked at already. So we come to the Create Widgets, you can see, let's take a look at the Subscribe option. If click on there, you can see we've got things like the position, which we used to, the color scheme, applying a theme, and so on, how they sort of displayed on the different devices, content, we can put in the message we want, the different placeholders, and so on. We can go to the Success page, which allows us to go through and specify a particular page we want to show, or some information we want to show, or we can sort of close the widget or redirect to a specific URL. So we can control exactly how that is displayed and what happens after someone subscribes.
Again, we've got the behavior and the targeting that allows us to go through and fine tune exactly who and what devices are required to be able to view this information. And finally, we've got the integrations option. So again, if we're using something like MailChimp, we could simply come in, make sure we're connected to that, and then just link over and we can create a link through to that. So the information is passed over to that information on there. We've got autoresponder options and enable webhooks. We also have the option to integrate with Zapier. So if the integration isn't covered by Get Site Control natively, you can use Zapier to connect things through on there. Let's cancel that. Let's jump back over and let's take a look at something like the share option. Again, we kind of take, take a look at the appearance, the content, which we can now go in and specify what social networks we want to display on there the behaviors and the targeting. So you can see it's a kind of same process. There's just certain different things you have to change based upon whatever widget that you're actually currently going to use. So it's really, really easy to work with. And that pretty much sums up Get Site Control. It's very easy to work with, very intuitive, makes linking these different widgets or apps through to your website a really painless affair. Once the code is in there, the job is done basically. So that pretty much wraps up what I wanted to show you with Get Site Control. Again, a big thank you to Get Site Control for sponsoring this video. And if you'd like to find out more about Get Site Control, the pricing and everything you can do with it, the link is in the description below. I recommend checking it out to see how it could work to help you with your website. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you need comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything to do with Get Site Control, please pop those in the comments section below. Well, until next time, take care.